my class, Mr. Goyette, just going over a few things for Unit 5 with you uh, for Biology uh, B, Chapter 27. Um, first and foremost, what we want to talk about right now is um, introduction to animals, characteristics of animals, and the textbook lecture on that begins with um, body symmetry, uh, heterotrophy, mobility, multicellularity, and diploidy on uh, page 593. Uh, the lecture on the on the website that you'll be taking a look at um, begins with the discussion of snails, lizards, hummingbirds, starfish, crocodiles, etc. Um, how different they are, and talks about um, starts off talking about heterotrophy. And of course, heterotrophs cannot make their own food. We remember from our earlier chapters, plants are autotrophs. That is, they make their own food through photosynthesis. Um, so the Lecture then goes into um, mobility, multicellularity, that is more than one cell or having many cells, and diploidy, which means uh, adults have two copies of each chromosome. Plants, as you recall, have about have uh, anywhere about four or uh, have as many as four, and fun uh, fungi have one copy of the chromosome in their organism. The lecture goes into talking about a blastula is, is a hollow ball of cells that will eventually form a gastrula, a ball of cells with three distinct cell layers. The outer layer, the ectoderm, develops into an outer, outer skin layer, the nervous system and sense organs. The inner layer, or the endoderm, develops into a lining, uh, into the lining of the digestive tract or digestive organs, respiratory organs, and uh, many glands. The middle layer, or the mesoderm, remember, make sure you get your prefixes down. I've attached a copy of this prefix list um, in the, to unit, uh, unit 5. So if you go on to, um, to the unit 5 lecture, I believe it's lecture number 2, you'll notice that I posted that there so you can go over your prefixes. So they talk about the ectoderm develops into an outer skin layer. Endoderm, endoderm develops into a lining of the digestive tract, uh, and the mesoderm develops, uh, or in the middle layer, which develops into most of the skeletal, um, skeleton muscles, circulatory system, reproductive organs, and, uh, and excretory, excretory organs. Some simple invertebrate, uh, an invertebrate animals do not develop a middle mesoderm layer. Uh, remember that endo means inner layer or endoderm. We're going to talk about the cephalization process, or the production of the head end, which allows the mobility in action, the development of the of an organism. Um, they'll also talk about bilateral symmetry. Now, I've talked about this a couple times. You know, you had the, the virtual labs where you had to identify fossil remains, and by looking at those fossil items or looking at the shapes of uh, what was recovered, you were supposed to be able to um, determine uh, what sort of symmetry lined up with the newer species uh, so you could look at the prehistoric species and, and match them up with today's species. So um, we'll get into that with this quiz a little bit more. Development of um, internal body cavities is also a characteristic of bilateral symmetry, symmetry animals. The term uh, colon refers to body cavity. Um, that section you'll want to review carefully before you take the quiz. That is on. Um, that begins on page 599 and finishes up on page 600. Pay careful attention to the um, three body plans um, graphic um, at the bottom of page 600. That I know that's going to be on the quiz. Most uh, let's see, body segmentation is another advance the animal body of the animal body plan segmentation or the organization of body in, re in uh, repeating similar units is called segments is easy to observe in earthworms centipedes and millipedes and in larvae in the larvae of butterflies it is not as easy to see in many adult invertebrates or in or invertebrates because many of the segments have fused starfish and their relatives while showing radial symmetry remember Radial similarly, that circular uh, with, with radii coming out of it. Remember from your geometry class? Um, starfish and their relatives, while showing radial symmetry in adult uh, animals, 
and collate animals with body segmentation. Animals can easily be divided into two major groups on the basis of absence or presence of internal vertebral column. Um, of course, the, f the thing you want to notice there is that there are many phyla of invertebrates, but the most common and well-known are the periphera. We've talked we talked about this in Unit Four. Sponges, um, snodaria, which are the uh, jellyfish, corals, and sea anemones. Um, let's see, uh, flatworms and tapeworms, nematoda or roundworms. Uh, Annelida or segmented worms, mollusks or mollusca, snails, clams, octopus, um, and so forth. The vertebrates are actually classified as a subphylum um, vertebrata within the phylum chordata, um, which also includes two invertebrate subphylum, uh, urochordata or uh, tunicates and Cephalodicordata, which are the ones that they'll go into the, this um, classification on pages 10, uh, 1042 and 1045 into greater detail if you want to review that for the quiz. Animal body systems are specialized to carry out different tasks. This goes back to your multicellularity. Um, simple animals exchange gases directly through their skin, while more complex animals use gills lungs and other types of specialized respiratory organs. In an open circulatory system, circulatory fluid, uh, blood, leaves blood vessels and enters the body cavity to bathe tissues and cells directly. In a closed circulatory system, blood remains in blood vessels. Very small blood vessels called capillaries come into direct contact with uh, body cells, while simple animals have little coordination among their nerve cells. Complex animals have nerve cords and a brain with associated sensory structures such as eyes. For most animals, eliminating wastes is linked to maintaining the correct water balance in the body. Many invertebrates reproduce both asexually and sexually. Asexual reproduction methods include budding, uh, fragmentation, splitting in two, uh, parthogenesis, in sexual reproduction, male and female gametes combine to form new individuals. And of course, this goes back to this diploid organisms. Adults have two copies of each chromosome. So we're going to get in a little bit more into biospeak, become familiar with the key terms listed on page 611 uh, of your text, and the names and characteristics of the major invertebrate groups. These are the same terms that are in bold throughout the text. You may want to keep a vocabulary log. And um, I do recommend for all your classes, especially your science classes, your English classes, just all of them, because you're going to have to do this in my history courses as well. Keep a vocabulary journal, and in your notes, whether you're using Cornell Notes or another annotated system, make sure you're writing down your vocabulary, because we're going to you're going to retain it a lot more if you're writing it down. Some of those we're going to go over: blastula again, endoderm, ectoderm, uh, respiration open circulatory system. You'll see these on the quiz, so please pay attention to that. Just have a few more seconds here on this one. Uh, so I'll go over a few things you can expect to see on the quiz. In an open circulatory system, remember that body tissues are bathed directly in fluid containing oxygen. Earthworms are considered to be beneficial to, envir to the environment because their castings contain nutrients. They aerate the soil as they move through it. They break up the soil in which they live. All good things for the soil. Just have a few more there. Um, pay attention to um, the uh, Urchordata, the subphylum that I just talked about within the vertebrates. And um, let's see here. A group of similar cells organized into a f functional unit is called a tissue. So you'll want to live between cells and tissues. Um, sponges obtain food by filtering small organisms from the water. An example of segmentation in humans is the vertebral column, and you can look at that by just simply looking at a vertebra. Um, take a look at the diagrams on page 600, and notice that the B, um, the second organism there, is a, a pseudocolon. Um, 
In some animals, ganglia at the anterior end.